Hello boys and girls and welcome to another small edition of Man in a Panda. Today we are going deep, deep into the Polish outback. Um, on the left here, I don't know if you can see, but we've got our beautiful, beautiful lake, local lake, um, which was actually once, um, as far as I know, it was the one of, if not the biggest, sulfur mine. Uh, certainly in the area, if not Europe, um, and supplied, well, pretty much most of the sulphur in this area, and obviously created a lot of jobs for people. Um, now it is really a beautiful place. It's, it, it stopped working a few years back. Um, actually, when I moved here, it was um, it wasn't open to the public yet, but it had been filled up with water and. I think over the last five or six years, something like that, uh, it's been open to the public and it's really beautiful. It's really beautiful. But that's not the focus of today's Man in a Panda. Today, I'm with my daughter. You can't see her, but you might be able to sometimes hear her. Um, her big brother and her mummy are in the car in front. We're going on a little mission. But I thought on the way we would do some more Polish uh, village or town pronunciations because um, we're going in a different direction to where I normally sort of hang about. Um, so we are heading in, I mean this road I think if you stay on it eventually you will arrive in um, Krakow which is an easy one for English people because um, well, we sort of translate it from Krakow. It's a, it's a big city, so it's 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 usually translated and you know pronounced Krakow. So that's fairly easy. But um, along the way, there's um, a few more villages. So as soon as a signpost comes up, I'll say it. Um, how English people might pronounce it. Oh, here we go. Nag, Najal, Nagajal, Nag Naljal. Where's that, boys and girls? Naganyuf. Naganyuf, yeah? Is that how you say it? Nagagno. Um, so that's around here. Uh, Got to keep uh, an eye on the limit. We are out of town, so I can go 90, 100 on, on this road, but I'm not going to be going so fast. Um, and let's see what, um, as, the, as the, the, the signs come up, I'm going to be reading them and giving you the pronunciation. Um, so just looking for a blue sign. It's a, obviously, it's still winter here. It's the almost the end of January. That went quick, didn't it? Anyway, we've got one here. So let's go. We are on the direction to Milek and Debika and my favourite, Rezhezhal. <laughs> Rezhezhal. Where's Rezhezhal, boys and girls? Have you ever been to Rezhezhal? Let me know in the comments. We're going to turn here in the direction of Rezhezhal and Debika and Mielek <laughs> and Radom so um, Rezhezhal, that's Zeshuf I'll leave all of these names in the description Zeshuf and Dembitsa um, and as my daughter correctly said we shall be turning left to Radom Radom, not much of a difference there really keep an eye out there for the car we're about to cross a bridge. Um, this is a beautiful local area. I'm gonna put petrol on because I'm running out of gas. Anyway, oh, my other favorite, Launiao. Loni, I'm sorry, Loniao, Loniao. Where is Loniao? Loniao. I know some people who live in Loniao. How do you say Loniao? In Polish. That's a bit of a cheat because it's a strange Polish letter for English-speaking folk, but that's pronounced Wonyuf. Wonyuf. Or as some English people like to say, Loniau. So we're going over the bridge in the general direction Loniau. You can't see the river, but um, it hasn't been raining, so the water's quite low. Um, there's some great names here, though. I won't read all of them, but we are now officially in the Gmina of Loniau. So that's like the local council of Loniao, let's say. Um, as you can see, the beautiful Polish countryside, winter Polish countryside, so 
it, it's it's really a, a great area here this area where we're going it's full of uh, apple trees and apple orchards um, it's it's really beautiful I don't know if you can see that here on the window outside this side here but it's they full can. over there I know you can see it but I meant the camera I know they, can see they can see it. it's full of apple orchards we're gonna turn right here and go deep 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 into the countryside I'm not gonna make a super long video today boys and girls just a little bit of fun a little bit of pronunciation and a little bit of something different oh we're now in Lazek welcome to Lazek Wongzek. 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 We've got Lazek Novi or Lozek Lozak Novi. Wongzek Novi. I'm about to change here. Yes, my beautiful. When we're going to come back from this place, can we go the same way which way we went to see the horses? Did we go and see the horses? Where are they going? Ah, last time, yeah, that, that road when we got lost. Last time we were coming back from here, we got lost and we found some horses. I don't know if I can remember getting there. Anyway, let's have a look. We've just turned off the main road, so we're going deep into the Polish uh, Country. countryside. That's right. Let's see where we are. There's a green sign up ahead. And um, I know some of my students live here, actually. So, hello to my students. We are in, are you ready for this? We are in Chodkow Stary. Chodkow Stary. Hot Kuf Stary. Hot yeah, well done, that's where we are. Or as English people like to say, Chodkow Stary. And I know that there is a, up ahead, there will be Chodkow Nowy. What's Chodkow Nowy? If that's Chodkow, Chodkow Stary, where are we going? What's after Chodkow Stary? Stary, it will be Chod Kuf. Chodkov Nove. Anyway, on this side, there's more orchards. It's a beautiful village. It's a really, I, I love this part of. Um, I was going to say Podkapacha. Are we in Podkapacha or Świętowszczyzna? I'm not sure. I know over the river it changes a little bit. So I think we're now in Świętowszczyzna. I'm not sure. Leave a comment because I don't remember. Sorry, my geography is not the best. Hello! Hello! <laughs> There's Sven. Um, so we're still in the village. There's another sign coming up. Wow! Just up ahead. We indicate here there's a car decided to stop in the middle of the road there. That happens in the country fairly often. Um, so yeah, we're just about to leave Chodkow Stari. And that leads us directly to Chod Cal Nowi. Chod Cal Nowi, hello! Hot Kuf Nowi. Hot Kuf Nowi, well done. Of course, your pronounce is very good. You speak Polish, don't you? And we're going to turn right. Let's do a Vivurka look. That's a Willy one. How do you say Vivurka in English? Squirrel. Squirrel, well done. There's a bike here. There's a guy on a bike so we're gonna overtake him a little bit um, as you can see left and right we've got apple orchards um, I'll come back here in the spring and in the summer because it is seriously beautiful last time we were driving here there was like every sort of half a kilometer or so there were um, eagles or buzzards or falcons not not quite sure but they were sitting on trees you know, sort of overlooking their territory. It was really beautiful. Um, anyway, boys and girls, I'll do one more and then I'm gonna leave it because I don't know how long the battery's going to last. But we are now officially in, what does that say in English? Kepa Nagagnajewska. Kepa Nagagnajewska. Kepa Nagagnajewska. You can't even say it, say it again. I am Kempa Nagane. Something like that. Kempa Nagayomska. <laughs> sorry, if you live here, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm sure for Polish people, if they went on holiday and they went to Warsaw or and they say, where do you live? 
I'm from Kelpanagana <laughs> They would, even Polish people would say, where are you from? I'll say it again here, we're leaving it. It's Kelpanaganaevska, Kelpanaganaevska. And that leads us into Pshawilovka, Pshawiloka, Pshawiloka. How do you say that? Pshawilovka. Pshawilovka. I'll, I'll write all of these names down so that you can read them in the comments. How do you say them? How would you say them? Are we in Podkapacha? Are we in Shentopshuske? I have no idea, but we're driving through beautiful Polish villages on a beautiful Saturday. <clears throat> Boys and girls, I'm going to leave it at that because um, I don't know how long it lasts and I just wanted to make a little video oh, of... Can, you do last one? can we do the last one? Okay, we'll do the last one if we get up here. We'll do the last, last one. Oh, there's some chickens there, look. Uh, we'll do the last ones. I hope you can see this. I saw a cat as well, and a dog. Um, as you can see, there's some beautiful houses here. Um, it really is a beautiful countryside. You can't see out that window, but it's equally as beautiful. Um, and just over there, there's the vow, or the dam, as they say. So, I think we're just about to leave this village. And I'll do one last pronunciation and I will leave you. So don't forget, leave a comment, boys and girls. Where do you live? How was my pronunciation? Um, if anybody can clarify, where are we? If we're in, as I say, Podkapacho Shentevsiske, that would be great. And, oh, we're not going to be in a new village. We're just leaving. I'll say it correctly. We have just left... Pshev... Pshev... Wufka, Pshev Wufka, Pshev Woka, Pshev Woka, Pshev Woka, Pshev Woka. That's how you say it. I believe my daughter because obviously she speaks Polish and I don't. So I'm going to believe her. Um, it's very bendy around here. So I'm going to leave that, boys and girls. As you can see, look at that. It really is beautiful. I promise you. I'll come back here in the <coughs> spring and summer because it is equally as beautiful in all seasons. Boys and girls, happy Saturday. I'm going to make pizza later. Uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. See you next week. Got a very, very, very special man in the panda next week, boys and girls. Um, got some really nice uh, interview to look out for. So do that. We are not going there, but there is Lakowiec. Wukowiec. Lakowiec. There we go, boys and girls. I'll leave it at that. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, I'm going to enjoy the rest of the ride, have a little chat with my daughter, listen to some music, and I'll see you next time on Man in a Panda. See you later, boys and girls. Goodbye.